assured that they have the potential and what it takes to come away with the win. A scary moment at Saturday's football game between Viger and Blount as football players hit the deck and some fans scrambled for the exit. Now all weekend long there have been rumors about what started that panic and now the school system is looking to settle the score. NBC 15's Andrew Ramey breaks down exactly what happened during the Battle of Pritchard. So we've got to take full advantage. Behind Mobile County Public Schools field reporter, you see people start to run and football players hit the ground. The camera pans to the crowd where you see people ducking and leaving the blunt biker game. <laughs> Nearly 30 minutes later, spokesperson Renee Phillips provided this update during the live stream that's now been viewed 16,000 times. So there was a little bit of excitement. There was a little scuffle in the stands and some people panicked and some people ran out of the stadium, but it was no, there's a lot of rumors going around that are not true. Um, it is fine here. This is video anchor Kim Anderson shot at the game, showing police responding to the commotion. There were no shots fired. School board president Sherry McDade says two boys started fighting in a bathroom and other kids ran out creating a frenzy. That triggered a domino effect. People saw other kids running, so they ran. Uh, the teams went down to the ground for, I guess, for safety cover because that's a procedure that our coaches are teaching our kids to do. Shots were fired at Ladd during the 2021 Williamson Viger game. Five people were injured. Police say the suspect left the game and came back after metal detectors were taken down. The school system blamed the security breakdown on stadium management and at the time said games would no longer be played at Ladd. Now the school system owns the stadium. McDade says security is tight. We had a strong uh, presence of security here. We had an outside security source. We had all of our school resources on, on here. We also had uh, mobile police, uh, po mobile police department was present in this. So we, we were wear cover. McDade says there's been a lot of misinformation spread on social media, fueling fears. You know, people are going to run rampant with it because what they want, they want likes and, and you know, people uh, coming in on it. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Well, McDade also says there was not a gun found at Lad Saturday. Coming up tonight at 6, the major decision made today for security inside our schools.